Hoku Keala and I am a paddler in Hawaii. Don't mind the background noise. Yeah, 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 yeah right. <laughs> my name is Leah Ching and I paddle with Lana Keela and the sounds of the background are my children. <laughs> I have been paddling for 20 four years so since the age of seven i have been paddling for 13 years now and uh, what canoe do you paddle currently currently i'm on the cantare i paddle currently the cantare canoe by potea designs how do you feel about the cantare i love it so far for the cantare it's been super fun trying to figure out the things that are different between the kahele which i was on for um, a while and now switching over to the Kentare. I've been on the Kentare for maybe over half a year now and some of the things I like about it are that it picks up speed really quickly, it can fit into things really nicely if things are really close together. When it goes upwind because it's so sharp I feel like there's not a lot of pushback. Um, size wise it's a little shorter. Previously the Kahele was the shortest canoe and now the Kantare is uh, because it's a lot more sharper. I feel like it doesn't pearl in certain situations versus the Kahele, but I was on the Kahele for a while so I feel like I'm partial to the Kahele until I really get to know the Kantare, which I feel like can take a little while um, when you're getting to know any kind of canoe. Like every boat that I've ever paddled by Johnny, every boat that I've ever owned, I have loved uh, 100%. This one is just, it feels like it matches my body. It doesn't require as much to get it moving, but um, it's, it's still, it's, it's, it's no better than the others. I'm just enjoying it at the moment. I've paddled just about every single one of Johnny's boats since the Pueo. <laughs> but before the Cantare, I paddled the Bellari. The Valari is a heavier canoe. It still has good movement and it's a little more customizable because it has that uh, foot brace that you can move forward and you can do what you need to to get it to the place that you want it to be. Um, the Cantare, where it's not as customizable for a smaller body frame, it's easier to move in general. And it's easier to make adjustments into the surf. With the Puakea boats, it's usually whatever I'm paddling the most. Um, at the moment, I am paddling the Kentari the most, and I love it. So when I miss a wave, it's really easy to correct. Where before, if I missed a wave, it would take several waves to get back going again. So this, this is a nice adjustment. It's a, it's a new situation that I'm really enjoying. Now, it was funny because I said like it's a, a 160 max weight and I'm like I'm 160 like that is my weight so I was a little a little nervous I wish I didn't put the weight restriction on it because it really isn't a weight thing um, Danny paddles it and people who are definitely way more than 160 paddle it and I don't I don't see even that borderline weight distribution is an issue it's it's a um, I, I appreciate the sentiment of making a boat for smaller people, but I don't know if it's necessarily a restriction. The mm. same way the Valare is made for slightly larger people, but it's if you learn how to surf it, it's just fine. The Cantare definitely was something that I, I jumped on for the first time and I was just like, this feels like it was built for me. <laughs> like, I'm like, this is wonderful. I really am enjoying this. Like it's it's easy, it's fast and I want it to go fast and then it goes fast and then I want it to surf and it surfs some um, no it's it, it feels very like form fit and, and nicely made for smaller people <laughs> now that I've gotten some time to paddle the Kentare I definitely have seen that when I go upwind you know because it's such a sharp front glides right through the swell. There's not a lot of slam downs when we're going upwind. Even in the sidewind, you know, the Cantare handles pretty well. There's not like a big smack from, you know, side swells. Takes the swells on. I do really like that, you know, in the surf, um, especially the tight stuff and the technical stuff, the Cantare is really maneuverable. Um, it is a shorter volt with a little less volume than some of the other boats so 
it's pretty zippy and it's been fun, you know, getting to know the Kentare and try the Kentare out in different conditions. And I have been using the surfing rudder, so that also helps too with, you know, the maneuverability and, and whatnot. One of my first things that I noticed that surprised me was how fast the boat speed picks up. You know, it takes a lot less strokes to get the boat going. It's kind of like a zero to 60 thing. And if you can connect the waves, you're golden. You know, you can keep that speed. Sometimes I would say that, you know, biggest issue with, with paddlers with bigger volume canoes is sometimes we need those extra strokes to get us where we need to go. Um, and more strokes mean more energy. So with a lower volume canoe, you can kind of get to where you need to go, less strokes, less energy, a little bit more efficient, and then speed is always nice because, you know, fast is fun. But love at first song. That's insane. Like, it can fit in my garage better. It fits everywhere better. It fits inside waves better. Having something that doesn't get heavy over time seems to be a giant advantage for most people.